good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your boy, Big Stan, and we are back. Yes, back here on Civil Black Gaming. And yes, it is supposed to be Skyrim Saturday. I unfortunately accidentally deleted the footage I recorded. I don't have time to record another long video like that right now, but I do have the save file left from where you were the last time. So, we are going to play a game called Dredge, which has been a big hit. I'm very interested in it because it's like a fishing sim with some dark lore behind it. So I'm into that. Let's go ahead and get started here. The game. Dredging the depths. I'm just a boat going over the ocean. Ocean. Angler wanted. I love the art style. It's like um, Disco Elysium. Just closer. My boat's on a rock. If you watch the channel, you know I'm trash of voices, so I always forget what they are. So let's see how this one goes. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock. Where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers, disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome, great, great tomorrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you allegedly introduce yourself. I said allegedly, you already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things under one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there and catch some fish. See if you can feel your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog goes in. Keep a close eye on time. It can really creep on you. Alright, let's undock. And now we move. We can move all this stuff. Go up here so we can do some fishing. So little mini games of to fish and you got like a Tetris stack going on. Timing, you said, timing. It's not that hard, my guy. So we're gonna we're just gonna erase the population of these fish. Can I get one more out of it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just killed a whole ecosystem. Right, let's keep on going. Some more over here. Ooh, there's some over there too. We will go here. So it's like a little chill ass vibe. You don't have the right equipment for the spot. Fine, be that way. The noises are interesting also. Can I fish here? Good. Damn little boxes. Bitch. So now we got a cod, a whole new type of fish. So we got, the, like, like I said, the Tetris style stacking system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I depleted a whole nother fishing hole. Alright. Let's go check and see what we have over here. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Can't do that yet. How about over yonder?
Yeah, bigger green ones. Some more map. Oh, it's only one fish there. Alright, so we got this over here. Alright, so we got pursuits. Catch fish for the day. Okay. Let's go over here. It's starting to get dark. You notice what is that eyeball on the um thingamajig? Can't do that. So I'm gonna play the safe side like you said. Be careful what is dark. So I will go back so I don't ruin my boat. And I'll sell the fish. I don't have the speed up button. Square lights. Oh, it's pretty. I don't like that eyeball on the map though. But what is that gl glowing red fucking circle over there? Hey. Step. You step up to the dark grid mirror. The mirror is waiting nearby. I see you returned to one piece. Very good. Before you head off into town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. I also play as a bear in a game called Animal Crossing. I did stuff for you, now you gotta do stuff for me. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to say you replaced the vessel. You was too old. Sorry, I need a drink. I understand you might not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it alone. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt in turn to keeping the population fed and satisfied, understand? Sorry for it, yep. Yeah. Off you go then, the sell those fish, while well, they're still fresh. So we're gonna go meet the fish wanderer. You entered a squatted shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air, flies by his haphazardly around the downcast man behind the cabin. Mm. Ah, you heard the new fish in it, eh? Suppose they found a new one so fast. Um, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not the life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more to you. Other towns and other islands might pay you different. But while you still got the debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying the mm. first. So let's see what you got. All right, let's sell everything. We get ninety-two dollars and seventy-four cents. Sell all the fish. So we sold all of it. The mayor is standing outside the fish market store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'd be able to provide for this town. Mm -hmm. Look here. I found you down by the docks. I'm sure that someone would take a liking to it. Why don't you take it? We would just jam this right here for now. One last thing. A local shipwright mentioned she might be able to do some modifications to your ship. I don't know why I turned him into an Italian so fast. We should pay her a visit. So we'll go talk to the shipwright. As you walk through the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to the damaged hole. She looks up at you briefly before turning her back to work. Ah. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you're damaged from the rocks, or any damage at all, I can batch it up next week. She shreds the chassis towards the hole she currently attempted to repair. Number of wooden boards all well by the waterline are split to the scratch. Take a look around, just remember the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Right. Can I afford any of this shit? That's a waiting line for shadow stuff. Well, I can get this one. 
I live in shallow. That's what school makes for limited real estate. Um, nothing right now. We'll get some more money first. I'm going to go 36 hours again. So we will... Look at the encyclopedia. So a lot of stuff to catch. All right. So we're going to sleep for the night and go back out in the daytime. So let's get some rest. I'm going to wake up at like 4 a.m. There we go. Let's go ahead and um, go catch some more fish. That eye's not looking at us no more. There's like another town across the way too. So let's catch these mackerel. Oh no, these are squiddy boys. Ooh, an arrow squid. Alright. Head over here. Can't do that yet. Let's go see what this little town is. Oh, wait, can I fish here? I can. There we go. Much better time. I think I've gotten the hang of it now. Hopefully. As I fuck one up real soon for you guys to ask me. Alright, so we took all that fish. Alright, let's go to this town over here and see what's over here. This little island. The island paradise on the side of the river. Get some carp real quick. Oh yeah, we got we're on a roll now. Get some Tetris. Yeah, I fucked up my Tetris. It's fine. I was on the road for a minute. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go see what's over here. Can I get one more fishing spot right here? Maybe a map or two? Can't fish in yet. Alright, what do we got going on over here? What do we got over here? Storage and a trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry. And other baubles. An old man peers over his silver spectacles. Oh, hello there, adventurer. Is that... Uh, I don't believe we met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. However, there's any special trinkets you may have. Have you got any nice... Anything nice to you today, perhaps? I do not, my man. I have no treasures. Okay, bye. So that's a waste of time for now. Um, I'm sure we will find. Oh, wait. Stop. And that was the day treating you. What's it like working the dogs? As changeable as the weather. Most days it's pretty quiet. The pay's not too great, but the work's stiff full. That suits me to a T. It's good to get a fresh sea breeze without actually being in the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me out on the seas every day. What else can I do for you? I better go, buddy. Alright. Let's go and sell my fishies. Oh, I think I can catch a couple or more. Ooh, what is that? Is that a message in a bottle out there? Hold up. Hold up. There's a genie in a bottle, you gotta love me the right way. There's a little message in a bottle here. Collect item. We got a message. We had a slight accident yesterday. 
around the shallows at the back of the great Amero. The rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hole, but it just jostled us around a few times, fell over. A few others fell over one one. We did not see what they were, which was some is concern, but we believe all the important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he perfumed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so superstitious. You're so superstitious. The writing's on the wall. The creepy eyeball back and watching as I go back to the wall. This is the one I gotta go to. It's just something. My fishies. Turn on the light real quick. Whoa, shuckies. No, thank you. Oh shit, fuck. That was almost bad. Turn on the light. I don't like that eyeball on the fucking under the clock. Very, very disturbing. Okay, so we got another squid. One more? Yeah, baby. I didn't do anything. Whatever's watching me. Can you go sell my fish now? A hunch woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Ah. Ah. Why are you here? I've come to fish. <sighs> There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path and leads to the light. She must be the White House chick. Lighthouse. Ah. A special order come to a customer if you can fulfill it. I'll pay you above normal prices. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your order, buddy. That's one great golf flounder, one great eel. I know this is not the voice I gave him earlier. <clears throat> yes, one golf flounder, one great eel. Just bring them when you have them. You need that rod to handle shallow water and for the catching fish. You should, right, should be able to fill that. Way. Alright, so, this $147 on this one. Yeah. So we still owe $1403, so let me go to the ship, right? I want that. Is it this one I want? Strings and lines can catch larger, deeper fish. We'll get this one. Put it here. Install so that. And then I'm not I can't afford this yet. But soon. So I will sleep now. And go on to the next one. Alright, we have a little thing. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Milo? Would you give this passage to the dock worker, please? You got it, dude. I will just stuff this down here. The man hand you a swatch that passage bound the string and stripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you a part of the Please be quick about it. I don't want it this way. Don't forget your compass to map if you get lost. Gotcha. Alright, let's roll. Time to roll out. Roll out. I got my twin Glock four days. Glock back. Me and my homies. We got that. Alright. Go over here because I think I can actually fish with these bad boys now. Oh, we got a golf flounder. 
a big boy too. Yeah. Yeah, look at that, baby. So I guess the yellow ones are bigger sizes. Let's go take this over to this guy. We're not going to do any more blue mackerel right now. Because I don't see the gray eel for that side mission, too. So what do we got over here? I don't have room for anything that size. Because they look to be bigger. I could be mistaken. What about here? Don't need those right now, either. Right, let me go get this thing to the dock work and get it out of my inventory. Hmm. What a delivery. What? A delivery? Let's see here. You can't throw a whole pizza side. You can't save a children if you have to shielding it from you. Yes, nice. This should do this is in French. This should do nicely. I'm gonna pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was giving this old book a few weeks back, but it doesn't make much sense to me. You're surely getting your youth out of it. He put the comic book from the back pocket and hands it over to you, and the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it when you're underwater. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Alright, so now we have... the book. So we are going to read the book. All right, let us go in my bed. All right, where would the great youth be? Oh, there's another note in order. Oop. Don't want you guys right now. See another. So that is words. I can't do anything with it. Right? Oh, dredge. So I guess that's how you salvage stuff here. Okay. Got it. Let's see what this one says. The morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of the Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here, the lairs, the colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he'll keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. But not that other rod. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did fancy a renaming ceremony and everything. Okay, so this was one before the other one. Yep, it worked. Very superstitious. Those are sharks, it looks like. What do you got here? I'll catch whatever's here. Can't. Has more dredge. That's fine. Alright, let's go sell our fish. We'll get back to the docks before dark. So we're not fuck with whatever that eyeball is that keeps on looking at us. Can I catch any of this? I don't have room. I have to discard. I will catch you later, Grouper. And we are back at night time. Just the lighthouse tower of the waves crash endlessly against its perilous rocks below. All creatures, humans or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the Intrinsic power of the structure, a vast column of stone shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays in ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. 
So I'm digging this so far, baby. Yeah, keep the eyeballs back on the fucking time and direction and shit, so I'm going to go park my boat. I might be able to pay off my loan. Have you got any fish for that order? Just leave whatever you have, I'll keep the order nice and ready to go. So we did get one of these bad boys. Bop. Come back when you have everything, not a regular business, eh? Can I afford this shit? How much money do you have? Oh, yes. I can get this one now. So this one is a throw in storage now. Wait, I wanted to look at the other stuff yet. So that's the onboard engine, okay? Nothing there. So bulbs, okay. Alright, so let us um let us get to some Z's real quick. Get up about four in the morning. There we go. Mr. Mayor. What can I do for you? Of course, how much would you like to pay? Um, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm, well, the last fisherman, oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He's also a terrible captain, I mean, really terrible. Constantly running around on the reef, even in the broad daylight. This shit right almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shat to be missed by us. Now, what else could I do for you? Certainly. Is there another in particular you wish to know more about? Actually, not right now, bud. I'm good right now. I'm get back to fishing so that we can... Yeah, baby. Ah, uh, shit. It's raining out here now. We got to some of the deep areas, see what I can catch. Like wherever there's a shark that could dig there. Alright, so that's the eel we need. So we need these. Do one more. Alright, we're going to another spot. Let's we'll see what these big boys are over here. Can't do anything with those yet. Alright, what about here? A little bit deeper. Take you higher, baby. Oh good, we get some card now. That dredge, this was dredge, right? Who I had the dredge, whatever it is. Yeah, I think that's. Yep, yeah, can't do anything with that. I'll right, sail out here a little bit. Hey, there's a little dock right there.
Anything here? No, nothing. All right, let me look at. Okay, we're eighty percent on the book. So I got the yield, so I go do that. All right, cool. Some more dredge. So interesting. Now let's catch something here. We'll go finish that water. Maybe get another mission to do. And then we're going to end this one today. All right, Creepy Eye Man is back. I'm heading back to town right now. I need a heavier rod to get those. Turn on the light for a bit. I do not like the eyeball because I have like glowing shit around it. Got the buoys. I see the lighthouse. I remember there's rocks in the way. So I finished that book. Last thing I can catch tonight. Let's go. Turn that light off. Cause I don't know what kind of creepy shit is in the ocean. Let's go dock. We'll sell our fish. See what kind of rewards we got for that book. See if I can get a better um, fish rod to catch bigger fish. The man quickly walks towards you. He seems to be in a good mood. With a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Great America is growing. The town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I'm granted a consent of the ship to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fish market services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work, we're glad you're chosen here to be with us. First off, Yep, I got the other fish for that water, my man. There you go. Mm. Thank you, sir. Should we please mm. the bees? I got another one here, so you want a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Okay. I think I have a grouper right now. Mm. Actually, yeah, I have the, I have the black grouper. Nice. You got it. Yep, let's sell the rest of these fishies. And 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks or catching a fish from the line. Cool. So we got that. So now let us look at the dry dock. This is the dry dock. We make significant improvements to the vessel here. Talking extra space, more time support for equipment, and superior holds. We need decent stock of hard materials, these lumber, metal, scrap, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? We need decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks slaves around here. I'm sure you find a way to get them. Materials assigned towards upgrade gear will be stored, so don't worry, you only have, you only have half of what we need. Okay, so this is our upgrade system. Well, alright. Uh. So let's sleep one more night. Let's see what Mr. Mayor would like. Oop, I don't want to talk. Alright, so we are going to end this one here, and um, I will be back with the Skyrim video next Saturday. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and an awesome start to your summer. My name is Big Sin, and I'm out this thing. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out this thing. Deuce!